My goal is to be a bridesmaid for as many people as I can. Today is refeed day. Mm. Refeed day is a special day in 80 day obsession. Phases two and three, one day every two weeks, you get a day where all of your carbs, you actually have extra carbs, and all of your carb portions need to be what are called dirty carbs. Sorry, I'm picking out what I'm gonna wear today. Go Blazers. Basically what a dirty carb is, is white, so white rice, white flour, buttermilk, things like that. Uh, that are still whole and healthy in nature, they're just not whole wheat. You're basically thinking about staying away from whole wheat things. Maybe they're a little bit more processed. Uh, what Megan and I have are cookies, naan, and graham crackers. So since we've had refeed days in phase two, uh, they've been a very coveted, looked forward to, circled on the calendar day, and today happens to be that day. I need to figure out which one I'm gonna have right now. I'm probably gonna go have a cookie again. So yeah, today's reefy day, and that's awesome. But two really awesome things actually happened yesterday. The first one being Megan is actually kind of coming out of volleyball retirement. Megan actually has a really cool opportunity right now. She's working with the Bueno Football Club, which is some middle school girls and some high school girls, and she's training them at the YMCA. And I love the opportunities that Megan's had to influence the next generation and have them be female athletes. I think that's a really, I think that's a really awesome demographic that can influence the world in a really positive way. And it's really cool for me to see how my wife gets to play a part in that. The second cool thing is that my one of my best friends, Mitch Singler, is going to Duke to coach football there. He uh, got a graduate assistant program position there, and so he's moving across the country from me, which sucks because he was just in Corvallis, but the opportunities that are opening for him are really cool. So I am a bandwagon Duke Blue Devil football fan this year, so... <clears throat> I'm really excited about that. That's really great news. And then that followed by refeed day. And now, actually, Megan and I, I talked this about this in a couple of vlogs ago, have our meeting. So it's going to be great. We're actually going to watch. <clears throat> this is us, but probably cry. I don't know if you guys watch This Is Us, but if you don't, you should. The reason that those two things, both Mitch moving and Megan working with young athletes and kind of influencing the next generation is it hits on a topic that I care about super deeply and I use the phrase a seat at somebody's table and what that term means to me is being at someone's table looks like them including you in on big news asking advice of you um, treating you as somebody that they value and care about. And one of the things that I care about most in life is to be at as many people's tables as I can. It is truly humbling when you are at someone's table and they value your opinion. And so I try to live in such a way where lots of people value my opinion and probably more importantly, trust my opinion that I'm giving to them, that it's going to be uh, not only good advice, but advice in their best interest. I don't know if you guys have seen the movie 27 Dresses. Uh, I have seen it once. I know that might surprise some of you. But to be a bridesmaid for 27 people is kind of a cool thing. And the premise of this movie is that she's always a bridesmaid, never a bride. But I would say I'm trying to live my life as a bridesmaid. and getting to wear 27 dresses in 27 different people's weddings is, in my eyes, a huge honor. And yeah, that would suck if you wanted to be the bride. But my goal is to be a bridesmaid for as many people as I can. That's the mentality that I want. And so I love it that Megan 
is having opportunities to influence people in a really positive way. Um, and sometimes you have a smaller seat and sometimes you might have a larger seat, but uh, always looking for opportunities to be at people's table. And so obviously my friend telling me yesterday, sharing such big news with me, meant a lot to me. Here's dinner. Got the cheesy egg on naan. Naan is not usually a thing that we get to have, so good way to end refeed day. What is your favorite part about refeed day? Cookies. Those cookies are bomb. All I eat, basically. Brielle, how does it feel that you get to have refeed day every day? <laughs> On a side note, these little panels we bought at Costco for $9.99. Oh, you're looking, you're seeing it in action right now. Some of the clutchest things we've bought yet. Brielle, are you Is mighty? <laughs> mighty! Mighty! Refeed day straw!